welcome back and uh, this is Chris and it's 2017 now uh, happy new year and yesterday we posted a video on the smart outdoor fire pit uh, controlled by Samsung smart things um, utilizing the switch in a waterproof box now uh, today the reason I'm doing this video is because the winds have been about 30 miles an hour the past several days and it's been tough to get the fire pit working great and seeing it so there's barely any wind today and we're going to show you what we've done because this is hooked up via z-wave and i have several devices outside including um, lights and light switches all controlled uh, through z-wave so i'm going to click gonna, on my use the phone and right now i'm using my samsung galaxy no it really does not make a difference what you use as long as you've got your smart things working on it so let's go ahead and go to the smart things and rooms and I have it under outdoor lights patio because I could turn on several lights including the dock lights LED lights flood lights and the patio lights inside here with this so I'm gonna go to outdoor lights and patio and you can see the dock lights and the dock lights are on um, I will show you that the dock lights you can see there and simply by clicking off they go off so let's leave that off for a moment because my goal is to show you the fire pit okay now on my other video that i previously posted you'll see the equipment we needed and you know you need somebody who's an electrician and trained to do this stuff so let's go ahead and look at our smart app and we can go and hit fire pit what it should do is it should switch on the electric and there's gas running there so let's hit fire pit and we'll see what happens you can see the igniter and it's all from the smartphone and now you see the fire pit and that's a beautiful flame beautiful now what I'll do is using this I will turn some lights on in the back and the side and you can see that we can turn off these lights now they're off pretty cool now isn't it now let's go ahead and we can turn the fire pit off and the fire pit is off so again, we did this using smart things, sounds from smart things. And all we're using is a GE switch, um, which we have set up in a waterproof electric box. Um, it's hooked up to a 24 volt transformer and a 24 volt transformer is hooked up to the uh, 12 gauge uh, wire that's running from the pit to the uh, dock box over there okay so okay welcome back and so you may have some questions well how do we accomplish this you know smart natural gas fire pit well it's quite simple because you need an all-weather electric ignition system out there which we do have so um, with that system when you purchase it comes a transformer a 24 volt transformer as you can see here they're fairly cheap these okay if you open it up, you'll see, so the yellow and the blue will connect directly to the switch where the power is coming into. And in this case, how did we make this automated and smart? Well, we use the GE in-wall smart switch, the 12727 model, and we actually placed it on the inside of one of these nice boxes here um, this is just a, a backup box but we use these watertight um, kind of waterproof weatherproof type boxes and this is the actual switch here which was fabricated to fit perfectly on the inside wall um, of one of these and then we had a another switch um, an all-weather switch 
for the outside and I can show you one of those switches uh, in the images as well so simple but making make sure you have you know a plumber or an electrician to do this we were running quite a few wires actually because we did do the uh, stacks as well which we are bringing um, against power to and uh, turning on through the smart switch but again your smart switch is not actually um, going to be used only if your say network is down uh, in that case is a manual switch that's hooked up to the outside of the box and you can see that in the photos I provided um, other than that uh, when you do hook up your power you then can go on and on your smart things application you can go to things and you can add a thing and a lot of times it'll look for the device it'll find a device but you can specify the device you're looking for as well all right and then you can add it to a room and you can set up all sorts of um, automated uh, systems such as like turn off Christmas lights turn on Christmas lights and so on so um, it's pretty cool um, it's good for if you're coming back on the boat from fishing and you want the back lights on and then say you want to go and sit by the fire pit you turn it on with your mobile phone you could give other people access to turn it on as well they just have to install the smart things application or they can go over and flip on the switch um, to turn it on but that depends on if the gas is on as well so um, great system I gotta thank um, certain people who helped me build this and took hours of fabricating this uh, this smart outlet into this box and fitting some small wires in there and um, you know it works great though and that's what we want to accomplish um, while doing this you can see back here I have several other um, switches and outlets and I use these throughout the house as well to you know control different things it's nice um, to have an automated system because in my experience you save on electricity because we always forget to turn lights off and so when I leave a room lights will turn off by themselves things are automated you, you just it's just simpler life with smart things and with z-wave technology so if you have any questions post a comment but thank you for watching and uh, any ideas for anything else we should uh, make a video on let me know um, we just got in the nucleus which is a device uh, that works from home to home or phone to home or rooms and that is a pretty cool device with Alexa built in and it's you know the intercom system that it is so it's basically a glorified intercom system using video and you can set privacy settings and so on pretty cool I've been using it for my family uh, who are a distance away as well as at home we're also getting in the um, DJI Phantom 4 Pro Plus that's coming in so we'll be doing some great videos uh, over the beach here at the ocean excited about that so um, hopefully you'll stick around and watch some of those videos check out some of my other videos and uh, again happy new year